All right, here's my next boiler. 20 inch diameter pipe, 32 inches tall, 3 eighths thick. And it has 22 inch and a half copper tubes rolled in. The firebox is 22 square and it's on a 24 inch frame. Got your Tycox there, water sight glass. I have an electric pump on it, AC electric pump. It works great. No more hand pumping. And I'll demonstrate that in a minute. And your fill and drain is right here. Clip it on the brass uh, hose clipping. Uh, blower is right here. Not even all the way open either. And when I put new air wood in, I uh, turn on the steam for a while as long as you got steam pressure. Nice two inch whistle, all brass. I'll blow it here, turn down your volume if you'd like. And the engine out is right here. Beautiful gauge on it. And I will remove this valve because that whistle valve is pretty good. It's not leaking much at all. And I'll remove this valve on the pop-off valve because it goes off at 100 pounds. And I know that works properly. And then the uh, pump here pumps water into the boiler. It's AC. I'm going to pause the video here and plug it in. Okay, so the pump's on now. I just plug it in. There's no switch on it. You have to plug it in. You can see the water going down in the bucket. It was right up to the rim. Moves a lot of water. And I have a blue mark there on the sight glass. And this is the airlock. When you first turn it on, you need to turn that on sometimes. You see how much water is coming out of it. And it will pump against 100 pounds of pressure. It's rated at 160. You can see it's gone down quite a bit in the bucket. So that's about it. My name is uh, my name is Ross. My number is 206-948-0770, and my email address is anacordasteam at gmail.com and it's uh, weighs about 600 pounds shipping it is no problem I do it all the time and uh, it's about 80 inches to the top of the stack thanks for watching